Here's part two, guys. Sorry, I was interrupted by a phone call. Here is our ethical duty as strength coaches. It's not about the money that was wasted by those parents who went to a coach who doesn't teach them how to lift properly and doesn't even provide results. Here's the most critical thing. Those kids never get back the months, years of wasted time and effort. That is something money can never replace. A kid who is training with a coach, a coach who does not follow the relentless pursuit of excellence, is wasting time in that kid's life. And he or she will never be able to go back and replace that time from subpar training. If you're a coach, get better. Get awesome. Get better every single day, every single moment of every single day as a coach. You owe it to the kids out there. There's enough teachers and coaches working in the schools being clock punchers. And there's a lot of coaches who own gyms who are in maybe a better area than you, get more foot traffic. Somehow, some way, they've got a little more advantage than you. And they're getting a hold of kids, maybe because they have a better relationship with the coaches in the school, whatever. You have to find a way to get to the kids that they are not serving. The bottom line is this, whatever you do, if it is not changing lives, then you're not doing it good enough. And that means you've got to get better. Every day I'm making myself better. Every day. I want underground strength nation, underground strength coaches around the world getting better. It is unethical to let these kids waste time with coaches who aren't delivering results. Build ass kickers who go out and live a strong life or hang it up. Decide what kind of coach you want to be. Go to undergroundstrength.org or undergroundstrength.org forward slash calendar and uh, undergroundbizjournal.com for more strength coach and business tips. Talk to you guys later.